Hello. I'm so pleased by the report that Penn Farthing um, has got his staff out of Afghanistan. And just a few hours ago, uh, Penn Farthing is the former Royal Marine who was operating a thing called Operation Ark, and he was. Uh, he, 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 he wanted to get his 150 animals out of Afghanistan, pets, because holding a pet, having a pet in Afghanistan under the Taliban is not acceptable. So these animals had no future there. Uh, this is an organization called Nauzad, and he also wanted and was quite clear that he wanted to get um, his 68 staff and their families out of Afghanistan. That's 25 children and one new baby. Uh, and uh, at the point of the chaotic evacuation, he failed. Um, and um, I, I was very disappointed to hear this. Uh, but now the news has emerged about why he failed. And um, I, 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 I'm simply filled with rage. It turns out that the problem was uh, the UK had done their paperwork and that was acceptable to the UK they'd handed that to the staff and their families. But when they presented at the US um, manned checkpoint at the airport, this was not acceptable to the US. The US required different paperwork to the paperwork provided by the UK. This is madness. Uh, we are submerged by a culture of bureaucracy, and it is wrong. Bureaucracy is there to serve, not to be sovereign. And uh, if you look at the bureaucracy of the Home Office, this mad organization run by an equally mad uh, minister, uh, who probably hasn't had an original idea ever. Um, this, is, uh, this is astonishing. Uh, bureaucracy has taken control. Um, it was there actually even before Priti Patel. Uh, we, we can think of Mrs May, who is more of a slave to bureaucracy, that's why we never got anything done in the last parliament. I expect something different of Boris. I expect something different of any future government. It doesn't matter what colour. We have to ditch bureaucracy. Uh, we have to make sure that bureaucracy knows its place. Its place is to support not to dictate. And let's go back. So, that, so that's one problem. But I'm not just railing against bureaucracy. I'm railing against Ben Wallace. Ben Wallace has the effrontery to castigate Penn Farthing, to say that Ben Farthing and his team were taking up too much time. I thought this was wrong at the time. This is the language of a monumental bully. Uh, and now we know now we know the problem was that Ben Wallace, Ben Wallace and his people did not talk to the Americans. But we know they didn't talk because we know that Ra couldn't be bothered to pick up a phone. This is the problem. It's not about bureaucracy, really. That's not the biggest problem. The biggest problem is the idleness and the arrogance of the people who have the jobs. They have one job, and that's to communicate. And if they can't do that, everything falls to pieces and people have got different paperwork that doesn't work and people's lives are placed in danger. Bureaucracy is a servant, not a master. And if the masters are busy wagging their fingers and slapping people's wrists without, without reason, those masters need to go. And we actually have so many of them at the moment. This is a cult. We have you know, uh, Priti Patel, who's busy breaking rule after rule. She's, uh, uh, there's now a report of a new rule, a new ministerial rule that she's broken. She has no interest in the rules. It's one rule or no rule for her, and a flexible rule for her, and an inflexible rule for everybody else that she deals with. More finger wagging. Abhorrent. Um, we have an alliance with the United States. That alliance failed because of bureaucracy and because of a lack of communication. I think it failed on both sides, and it failed monumentally. Um, and, 
Uh, let, let's look a little bit further at the character of these ministers. Uh, Dominic Raab. Dominic Raab, we said, should have been communicating, but he wasn't. Uh, it turns out that he, that he was turning over and slapping on some more number 10. Gavin Williamson uh, should, have, um, uh, should, should, should have been communicating. And he's presided over chaos in the education ministry. And yet he simply turns to um, childish threats. I know where the bodies are buried. Yes, he does. That shouldn't, that shouldn't um, frighten uh, a, um, a, a, a firm and confident Prime Minister. And Matt Hancock. Matt Hancock is either deep in the stationary cupboard, ooh, missus, or he's taking advantage of a national crisis to help his local pub. You know, we, 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 go, we go back to the idea of uh, flexible rules for them, inflexible rules for us. Mr. Hancock is the ultimate, oh, I'm your fixed, flexible friend. Do you remember that advert, the flexible friend? Well, there, we, there we've got a new figurehead, a new icon of a flexible friend, the flexible friend who's looking for the biro. I'm looking for my biro, missus. Woo, yes. Well, there we are. Congratulations, Penfarthing, because in the end, right comes out. And we are judged, not by what we do when we're sitting still, and we're lording it over everybody. We are judged by what we do in a crisis. And Ben Farthing, I think, is found to have done right. And Ben Wallace and Raab are found to look as abhorrent and as useless and as dangerous as it is humanly possible to look. These people should not be in charge. Do, um, do follow the, uh, uh, the, the, the account and ring the bell. Thanks.